Welcome to the homework for lesson 28. This is module 5 of grade 3. And as usual, please write your name first. That's the easiest question to answer. So get that one out of the way. And shade the models to compare the fractions. Circle the larger fraction for each problem. So here we have halves and fifths compared to each other. And it's just one of each. So here's one half. I'm going to shade that in. And there's one-fifth. And I'm circling the larger fraction. That's the half. Two-sevenths. Sevenths are very difficult to draw by hand. But they've given that for us, so we can just fill in two of the parts. Two-sevenths. And the fourths here, there's four equal parts. And I'm going to shade in two of those. And, of course, two-fourths is the same as a half. And you can see that that is more than the sevenths. Four fifths. One, two, three, four. There's four of the fifths. And four ninths. One, two, three, four of the ninths. And we can see the two fifths are larger. And you may notice that it's one half, one half two sevenths, two fourths. So like if you were thinking about the, right, the the way to write the fractions here, two sevenths, two fourths, like that, we're dealing with the same numerators. Um, but the reason this is in unit form is that, especially in for beginners, uh, for fractions, it's not, when you start comparing different fractions, uh, using numerators and denominators, sometimes it, it, you lose, you pay so much attention looking at the numbers and thinking about numerators and denominators, you don't actually think about the, that the fractions are equal pieces. It's just easier to think about this way. You don't have to think about the, where to write the numerator, where to write the denominator. It's fifths and ninths. We're counting fifths, we're counting ninths. All right, now we're counting sevenths and tenths. So five of these sevenths, one, two, three, four, Five and five of the tenths. One, two, three, four, five. And you might be onto this that the big the big idea of this page is that here when the numerators are the same, right? We're counting just one piece, then whichever pieces are bigger are gonna be the larger fraction. And we're looking at sevenths and fourths, and as long as you have two of them for both, then well two fourths is gonna be bigger than two sevenths because one fourth is bigger than one seventh. And we're talking about fifths and ninths. Well, of course, four fifths is going to be bigger than four ninths because one fifth is bigger than one ninth. And sevenths are larger than tenths. So five sevenths are larger than five tenths. And we have sixths and fourths here. And fourths are larger than six. So as long as we have the same number of each for fourths, if one fourth is bigger than one sixth, then four fourths is going to be bigger than four sixths. And this will prove it. One, two, Three, four, and of course, four fourths is the whole thing. Salim and Edwin use inch rulers to measure the lengths of their caterpillars. Salim's caterpillar measures three fourths of an inch. Edwin's caterpillar measures three eighths of an inch. Whose caterpillar is longer? draw a picture. So this is going to be very similar to what we did on the first page. Um, I'm going to draw, instead of drawing a picture of a caterpillar, I'm going to draw two pieces of tape, make them the same size. Now, well, let's think about this question for a minute. So this is what did I just draw a picture of? For each of these, this is one inch, right? Because they're measuring caterpillars. So these, we're talking about fractions of an inch. So this is one inch, one, one inch. And this is uh, Sel this is Selim's caterpillar S, and I want this in 
fourths because he's his is three fourths. So let's see halves and halves again gives us fourths. And so Salim's caterpillar is there's all the legs for the caterpillar. I'm making them green caterpillar since I have a green marker here. And there's his caterpillar, three fourths, and these are all fourths. And Edwin's measured his in eighths. So we're going to keep these same marks for fourths because we know that two eighths makes a fourth. So cut all the fourths in half and you'll have your eighths. Eighth, one, eighth, one, eighth, one, eighth, eighth, one, eighth, one, eighth. And his is three eighths. So here we go. Edwin's caterpillar. Oops, made it a little bit too long there. That's better. It's three eighths. There. There's my picture. Whose caterpillar is longer? The tricky part for this is drawing is remembering that you're drawing pictures of the fractions or pictures of an inch. Or the whatever this is, that's because that's the unit of measurement, and it's just comparing the, the three eighths to the three fourths, but it also drawing the caterpillars because the, the caterpillars are not equal, but the inches are so the inches are the whole, the whole unit of measurement. Lily and Jasmine each bake the same size chocolate cake. Lily puts four five tenths of a cup of sugar into her cake. They're baking the same size chocolate cake. All right. Um, so those are the holes, probably. Uh, oh, no, we're dividing up sugar now. Okay, so she, she, Lily puts five-tenths of a cup of sugar into her cake. Jasmine puts five-sixths of a cup of sugar into her cake. Who uses less sugar? So are we drawing equal cakes? Does it matter that the cakes are the same size? Because the question is about who uses less sugar. So it's really, the question is really about the sugar and not about the cake. So um, we've got five tenths of a cup. It's always a fraction of something. It's very important to keep track of what the fraction is a fraction of. Five tenths of a cup of sugar, and this is five sixths of a cup of sugar. So our unit is a whole cup of sugar. So this is going to be one cup of sugar and this is Lily's cup, that's Lily's measurement for a cup of sugar. And this is Jasmine's I can do this so I don't have to write it twice. They both had this for one cup of sugar. So now we need five tenths and five sixths. Five tenths and five sixths. So we know that tenths are smaller. We have the same number of units for fractional units we're counting. We're counting five tenths and we're counting five sixths. We're both counting five of each fractional unit. So let's see. Um, Lily is in tenths. So um, we can do this. Cut, eat, cut the whole thing in half and then make each half into, um, make each half into fifths and then that would give us tenths. But consider it five tenths is equal to a half. So I could just stop right there and say that's five tenths. But just to make sure everybody sees it, that's a tenth, 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 a tenth, a tenth, 
and then I need one, two, three, four, five, a tenth, a tenth, a tenth, a tenth, a tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, I have ten tenths. That's the whole cup. And I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, or rather, Lily uses that much. And then Jasmine uses sixths. So six are going to mark about halfway, and then I can make each half into thirds, and that's kind of the best way to get six to come out right. And that's not perfect, but it's going to be close enough. I need five of those sixths shaded in. That's one six, one six, one six, six, one six, one six. Uh, 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 and that's five of the sixths. And the question is who uses less? So there's the picture. And my answer statement is Lily. uses less sugar.